for any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a laminated it. almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube it started with my chickens, and it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss, and me and Corey, and this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me, and there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer, and uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church, and uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey, and uh, then the rest of it here. Uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's it uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. Box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then, and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your uh, address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it hello everybody here's my mama and she's gonna be making a hogs in a blanket recipe for y'all today she's made pigs in a blanket before and it's close to the same thing but it's a uh, hot dogs these are sausages yeah and these are sausages so we're calling it hogs in a blanket yeah it's smoked sausages and your crest and rolls is what you need so you get your caress and rolls. We're having fried eggs this morning and hogs in a blanket. <laughs> it scares me every time. Well, come on now. And this uh, specific kind of sausages, they got cheese in them. It says uh, something cheddar yeah better cheddar yeah so. but you can get them with like jalapenos in there to make them spicy or whatever or you can just get the plain original ones yeah but you spread your uh, dough out here and you're gonna roll them in this this is crescent rolls I had to get two of them out because he's 12 there and he's only eight in here so 
and I always roll them wrong, but here we go. And if you don't do it while they're cold, it kind of, they kind of stick together. So here's our, our sausage. It's got cheese in it too. They're already fully cooked. And so we're just going to roll them in this. Put them on our uh, parchment paper. So. Yeah, I forgot about getting these and I got this morning. I always like to have some kind of meat of the mornings with breakfast. I'm a meat eater. I love meat all the time. Something, some kind of meat for dinner, supper, or breakfast. But, yeah, we, uh, Papa went to the, this guy, I still want it, um, post office this morning. We've uh, decided to do something. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna have a box fixed up and once every other month, we're going to have a drawing. And how we do that is uh, whoever sends all the their letters in, we're going to put them in a big box or cards. Uh, we're going to put them in a big box. And at the end of the month, we're going to draw a uh, draw name. And whoever name we get, we will mail it out to them. So you have to send us. A letter or a card or something and be sure and put your address on the inside because the post office marks over y'all's address sometimes that's the reason we ask y'all to uh, uh, put your address on the inside so yeah, so after the end of the month we'll do the drawing we'll start uh, making a box and we'll draw a random card out of the box of all the people who sent cards. Yeah. We have a big box of cards already, so if you haven't sent a card yet, if you want to be in the drawing, just send a card with your address on it. Yeah, we're going to start now with the letters that we get and the cards we get. Um, and then at the end of the month, we'll draw them, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a raffle, but it's free. Yeah. And I guess if you send uh, multiple cards, because there are some people yep. that send all kinds of cards, you'll have more chances of winning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And we're going to put one of our old t-shirts in there that we had made a long time ago. And it yeah. says uh, Corey Blake on the front and YouTube. And it says my mom all secret recipes on the back. And then we'll one, put one of those in there and an the apron in there. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And one of the aprons that we made. We don't have no YouTube aprons. We done gave all those away. And you can wrap these any way that you want to wrap them. So, and these I'll save and wrap hot dogs in them. Because <laughs> I ain't got no more sausage. And then you put them in the oven. And I don't know how long, probably about 10, 15 minutes. Just long enough for your bread to get brown and done because the sausage is already done and for them to get hot, 10, about 10 minutes, you know. But I'll watch and see how long it takes because it's the first time, like I said, I've done this too. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's going to put it in the oven and she's going to read a, a little while for y'all until they're done. Whenever she's done reading, it should be done. Yeah, I preheated my oven to 400. Here's the egg she made for breakfast. Yeah, my, that's my fresh eggs that my chickens give me. My girls, as people call their hens, my girls. We put this over here now. Well, hot dogs in it at trois. If you are still watching out this part of the video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Share us to Facebook if you have Facebook and uh, make sure to go check out the merch shop. The link's in the description of this channel. Y'all check it out and uh, show some support there if y'all can. Yeah. So. 
And we do really appreciate it. It means a lot to us, everything that y'all do for us. Yes, it does. We really appreciate it. We thank God for you, you know, because y'all have really been good to us. And we really thank you for that. Thank you for being in our YouTube family. That's what I call it, our YouTube family. And that's what it is. Just like God's family, we have a YouTube family. And I think just about everybody in the YouTube are Christians too. So we got two families going on here, all in one. But I'm going to uh, be reading in Proverbs, the 22nd uh, chapter. And I'm going to be reading about uh, the sayings of the wise. It says, uh, bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips. That thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mayest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmarks which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. You know, God is good and he looks out after us, but we need to obey all his rules. He says not to go where there's evil people at, not to associate with the evil people that means hanging out with them and doing this but you are to be witnesses to them uh, you know because they need to hear the word and uh, by and by maybe they'll change their uh, heart and they'll uh, turn to god you know but in uh in the 20 um i'm gonna read this right here it says people tend to become like those whom they spend a lot of time that's true if you spend a lot of time with somebody you're going to uh, require their their habits and things. You're going to be doing what they're doing. Even though you don't agree with them, That they'll kind of pull you into it. That's the reason God wants you to be with uh, good people, uh, you know, that knows his word. It says the Bible exhorts us to be cautious in our choice of companions. Choose to spend time with people who have qualities you would like to develop in your own life. Uh, it says in Joshua 13 and 21, the promised land was divided and boundaries were marked out for each tribe. Moses had already warned the people that when they reached the promised land, they shouldn't cheat their neighbors uh, by moving landmarks that served as boundary mar markers, uh, giving themselves more land and their neighbor less. Yeah, uh, now there's a thing going on where people's going in and taking people's houses and things. If somebody owns a house and uh, they leave it for more than 30 days and then if somebody comes and sit in that house then it's that's theirs you know you can't get them out they're uh, whor uh what do they call them now squatters squatters is what they call them and uh they can go in and squat for 30 days and it's theirs that's ridiculous ain't it but uh, see even even god talks about stuff like that you know everything that going on is in the it's in the bible you know and god warns us to be good not to try to cheat our neighbors out of anything you know uh we are to be witnesses to the uh, lost out there to the ones that's mean or in, into drugs and drink and whatever you know that don't know the lord we are to be an example to them just like jesus was an example to us you know so that's what we're supposed to be you know christ-like in all things uh, you know, not try to cheat our neighbors or anything. Uh, we have a lot of prayer requests, a, a lot of things going on now that the devil's just throwing it at the Christian people, you know. But, you know, one thing about it, God takes care of his children, and we don't have to worry, you know. And I, I learned that lesson the hard way this week. You know, here I was all upset and everything over something that couldn't, uh, I couldn't do nothing about or nobody else could. But, you know, God, took, God takes care of things like that. And that's what he told me. He said, uh, 
you leave it in my hands. That's what you're supposed to do. You pray about it and ask me to help you, and uh, that's what we'll do. So that's what you do. You pray about something and ask God to take care of it and leave it there. He will take care of it, you know. And uh, we can't do nothing anyway. But dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this morning, Lord, just loving you and praising you, Lord. Thanking you, Lord, for your word, Lord, and your wisdom, Lord Jesus, for teaching us your word. Uh, Lord, ask you to touch each one out there that needs a touch from you, Lord. Uh, you see the needs of the people, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, ask you to wrap your arms around them, Lord, help them to trust in you and know that you're there, Lord, that you'll help them through any situation that they may go through, whether it's health or finances or whatever, Lord, you'll be there with them and you'll take them through it, Lord Jesus. Uh, we love you and we honor you, Lord. Ask you to have your way in all things, Lord, in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And we have to realize that, that he'll take care of us. Well, let's go in here and see what this is doing. I think it's only been about four minutes so oh, far. Well. Uh, it's starting to get brown, but not yet. Yeah, after the crescent rolls get browned and they fluff up a little bit, that means that it's done. Yeah. Because so, the sausage is already cooked. Yeah. But uh, God is good, and we need to, uh, you know, listen to him when he talks to us. And God does talk to you. You know, uh, that's what I was saying in uh, our Sunday message yesterday, how God spoke to me and told me to uh, that we was going to have a baby. And I'm like, have a baby? Well, you know, I done had my tubes tied and done had uh, five kids of my own, and I'm going to have more babies. I didn't really understand what it meant, you know. And I, I thought it was so funny. Uh, Milton came home from work that morning, and uh, we sat down at the breakfast table and was eating, and I didn't know how to tell him. I told him, I said, man, the Lord told me we was going to have a baby. He said, what? I said, yeah, the Lord told me we was going to have a baby. Well, I didn't know he was going to get us into foster care, but he did. <laughs> So uh, we adopted, uh, we had five kids and we adopted five kids. You know, God is good. You might think you're not going to have any more kids or you might think you're not going to do this, but you know, sometimes God has other plans for you to do. So uh, he, he will sometimes surprise you, you know. So we have to uh, listen to God, you know, but we need to go to church, listen to the preachers, you know, and if they're not in this word, then we don't need to be listening to them, you know. Because there's some false prophets out there, false preachers, you know, that preach the wrong thing. Some people says, uh, if you uh, if you get saved and you go out and sin, it's all right because when you got saved, it was forever. No, it's not forever. If you sin, you have to repent. I don't care how little, how big it is, uh, you have to repent. You have to ask God to forgive you, you know, because... Uh, you know, uh, you can't see, ain't going to be no sin going to heaven, you know. So uh, we have to realize that when we uh, repent, and if we sin while we, uh, after we repented, then that's a sin. We got we to gotta repent. and that, Well, we don't have to go to the altar and repent, but we need to ask God to forgive us, you know, of our sin. Because no sin is going to enter heaven. You know, some people don't understand that. They say, what's in grace, always in grace. No, that's not so. You know, you, uh, you're in grace, but if you sin, you break that bond between you and God. So you have to uh, ask God's forgiveness, you know, if you want to make it in heaven. <laughs> it's uh, my mom and papa's newest adopted baby. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but he's got a sock around his head. He looks like a little beggar. I think Milton done it. He went outside this morning for Milton to feed the chickens. <laughs> and he come in shivering around. And I guess Milton... Uh, cut a sock up and put it over his head to get him warm. It's like a little scarf. <laughs> Look, you're on camera. <laughs> it's like, I want to sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> He's done got real warm now. <laughs> but when the Milton opens the door of the mornings to go out, I mean, he just like a streak of lightning. He goes out, and Milton was just about to get his tail this morning, <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> but uh, he goes out and he picks at the chickens. And the other day we had a sitting uh, chicken and Milton didn't want him sitting this early. So Milton took the chicken off the nest and he went over barking at it and that hen chased him all around in the bar. <laughs> so, didn't it? Chased you all around, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. chicken jumped on him, and the, I guess he was pecking him, too, because yeah. Scrappy was yelping. He was trying to get away from him. <laughs> yeah, Mel said he was hard to help. 
Help! Help! <laughs> but, yeah, this is our new adopted uh, member of the family. Scrappy. Ain't that right, Scrappy? You want me to leave you alone and let you go back to sleep on that in there beside the wood stove? Huh? Yeah. See him closing his eyes. <laughs> he's done been out this morning running around. Oh, man, he's sleepy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let's go check out again. There you go, Scrappy. Go back to your bed. You can go back there in your warm place and lay down. Come here. Well, they still need a little bit more, don't they? Well, they're getting brown on top now. Just maybe a couple more minutes and they'll be ready. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have eggs this morning. And sausage. And uh, hogs in a blanket. Hogs in a blanket. That's what it is. We'll clean the table off here, and we'll get ready for breakfast this morning. Waiting on Milton to come from the post office. I told him to go down and pick me a box up, so I can start putting stuff in it. I'm gonna try to put stuff in it every week, and uh, when the end of the month comes, it will be full. So, uh, and we'll start out with. Uh, we'll show you in the next video. Uh, we'll have a, like he said, a YouTube shirt in it. We have how many, about eight or nine t-shirts? Yeah, YouTube shirts. maybe close to 10, but it's a, uh, some of them is really small, like they're small and then we got a couple medium. I don't think we have any large or extra large or nothing like that. Yeah. So, well, we're going to have to, if this does good, then that's what we'll, we might do. We might try to get some more extra large, you know, shirts. But we've had these ever since we started, and uh, we still got these left over. So, but uh, each uh, we'll put something each week in the, in the box. You know, we'll start off with our uh, YouTube shirt and our uh, apron. It'll be the one that I made. Yeah, you know, well, I cut it out and my friend sewed it. You know, so because I don't have a sewing machine, and if I did have one, I wouldn't know how to work it. Mom always sewed. I always uh, cut the patterns out. I used, Mom used to make all my dresses. When I started going to church, I started wearing dresses. And um, I, uh, Mom always felt like, uh, you know, you shouldn't go to church unless you got a dress on. And I remember when Mom, well, anyway, I would cut the pattern. I'd go get me a pattern at the store. I'd cut the pattern out, and Mom would sew it. I never could uh, change the bobbin or anything in the sewing machine. I guess if I wanted to real bad, I could, because anything you want to do real bad, you'll learn how to do it. But anyway, um, I would uh, go get me a pattern, a dress pattern, and I would cut it out, and Mom would sew it. But, uh, you know, I never did learn how to use a sewing machine. Really didn't want to, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my friend does the sewing of the aprons now. So uh, hopefully we can put something in the box each week. You know, something y'all like. So, but uh, like I said, you send all your cards or your letters in uh, for that for uh, next month. This is what? The 26th? I think so. No, let me see. 20, no, 26th is tomorrow. I have to go get shots in my knees tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow's me and Milton's anniversary. We've been married 56 years. We started dating when I was 15. And, uh, Anyway, we, when we got 16, we was wanting to get married. And uh, Milton was already 17. So he went, we went to his mom and told his mom we was going to get married. She said, I ain't signing for you to get married. And he said, well, that's all right, Mom. said, just in, in a few weeks, I'll be 18 and I'm going to get married. She said, I didn't sign for the rest of the boys and I'm not going to sign for you. <laughs> mom and Dad signed for me, but his mother wouldn't. She didn't want him getting married. <laughs> but... Uh, and he had, how many brothers did Milton have? He had about four brothers. But yeah. there's just him now. The rest of them's done going on. But yeah, she didn't come to our wedding either. She said she didn't do the, go to the other ones and she wasn't going to go to ours. <laughs> you know, Mom and Dad went to uh, mine. They signed for me because you had to be, I think it was 18 before you could get married uh, without somebody signing. So Mom and Dad, I was 17 still yet. I wouldn't have been 18 until August. And uh, Mom and Dad went ahead and signed for me to get married. So we got married in a church, and then Milton uh, 
moved to Michigan. He went by himself down there. He had an aunt down there, and uh, she uh, helped him get a job. He got a job at Chrysler. Well, he had little odds and ends jobs. And then uh, when I moved down there, uh, he got a job at Chrysler uh, working on cars, building them, whatever they do, you know. And then he got called to, to service to the Army, and we had to come back here because they had never transferred his uh, address and everything up there. So we had to come back here to the reserves, and uh, they had to reassign him, you know, because I was pregnant. But uh, God was good to us. He uh, Milton didn't have to go to the Army because... Uh, I was ready to have the baby, so they just cla reclassified him. So back then, you had to go. You had to go and enlist in the Army when you was 18, you know. And he did, but he never was called until after we went to Michigan, and then they called him, and we had to come back here. But uh, God knows what he's doing, you know. He has a work for everybody to do, and I believe that when he calls somebody, that uh, they, uh, he'll have a work for you, and he'll go before you. Just like he put men and Milton together to work together, like we do now. You know, God is good and he will take care of you. you now, he took care of Milton and he didn't have to go to the army. And a lot of the boys around here uh, had to go to the army. And uh, uh, I think there was two in our community that uh, served and uh, didn't make it home, you know. But, uh, you know, that's sad, you know. When, the kids go off to, well, 18 years old, I call them kids, go off to the Army and and uh, don't ever come back, you know, unless they come back in a box. But, you know, we have to fight for our country. I believe in our, and everybody supporting our country and 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 the flag, I, I, it gets on my nerves when I see some them football players. I won't watch football no more or ball games. If, if they have to kneel and not, and not take a stand for our nation, then I have nothing for them, you know. But, uh, you know, it's it's just getting worse and worse every day. You know, we better be ready when God calls us, you know, or when he comes back. We better be ready, you know, because this world is getting really, really bad. Schools are getting bad, uh, rioting everywhere, you know. But uh, God will take care of you if, if you know the Lord. Keep him on your side. There they are. Let me get them out. Right there they are. This is what it looks like whenever they're fully done. Yeah. They'll be golden brown. See them oozing? The cheese coming out of them. But this, this is going to be our breakfast this morning. So y'all have a good day. I guess you heard... Me get uh, when I was young, getting married. Milton might go to the army, going to Michigan to work. <laughs> I'll just say a little bit of everything this morning. Try what it needs to get done, didn't I? Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the stories. Yeah, so we love y'all. We thank y'all for everything. Well, I guess that's all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all are still watching at this part, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, share us to Facebook. And we love y'all, and God bless y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.